uh, hello friends today in this tutorial we will be building a instagram profile uh, info kind of application inside uh, tweakinter so basically you will be able to fetch all the details that you see inside instagram you can see by the username the full name of the person the biography you can see this is short little description of the person you can also fetch the profile photo of the instagram username and also the website so all this information we will be displaying it inside our Twinkinter application using their instagram api so there is a one sim simple endpoint from which you can get all this information and you can display it inside your python Twinkinter application this is the username you just need to give the username of the person and then all this how many posts they have published how many followers are there how many people they are following so this is my username you can see that coding picture and this is the full name and this is the short little description and let me just tell you this app here guys you can see that let me run this app python app.py so basically this is the graphical user interface that you can see on your screen this is the application uh, let me provide the username here and you need to simply provide the username so in my case it is coding siksha so here you need to search this so as i search this guys you will see all this information is displaying here inside the screen this is a username the followers you can see 180 you can see exactly 180 followers are there following i am following 995 people you can see that it matches and uh, full name you can see that it also matches here you can see that and uh, this is a biography you can see this is my website link coding fixture and private account false so it is not a private account so it is a public account so it is only valid for public accounts guys so if a user has blocked or if you if the user has a, pri a private account in instagram you cannot fetch that information so this information is only valid for public accounts so you can see all this information verified account false business account false so now total post you can see i have posted 35 post here you can see it is for fetching this information as well so if i want to see the profile picture you can click the button to see the profile picture if i click it you will now see you can even download this inside your computer simply save this image and you can then see it, this image so it is that easy guys so if you're watching it for the very first time then please hit the like button subscribe the channel so you can fetch all this information that you want by simple instagram api they provide you at this endpoint that uh, it is very much easy let me tell you the endpoint so basically this is the endpoint we are fetching this information so if you just open your web browser and type this so basically here you need to replace the username it is saying https www.instagram.com slash here you need to replace your username so let me replace it by coding picture here and then you need to put slash question mark uh, colon colon a is equal to one so if you just put this you will now see all this information which will be there it will not be displaying this information here but uh, in the application we are you can see this is all the json response that we are getting inside the command line so basically we are fetching this json response and we are displaying all this information inside our this application so let's start building this application from scratch guys so and how to do this process i have written a complete blog post on my website codingsiksha.com so this is a blog post so if you want to get this script you can go to the video description link and uh, tweak enter you can see that coding siksha so the link will be there inside the description of the video here so simply go to the description of this video and uh, just you copy the script so we will write it from scratch so let's start building this script from scratch so the very first thing guys we will need is tweakinter so we will import all the stuff from tweakinter and then we will import tweakinter as tk and for making the request we also need the request module which is a built-in module in python so we will initialize a, build, a new instance of tk we will give it a title to the window this will be instagram profile details app and we will give it a fixed uh, height which will be 400 by 
300 this is width and height so now to display this on the screen guys we simply need to do root dot main loop so simply if I run this script now python app dot py you will now see there is a simple window out there which has its title Instagram profile details app so now we need to place widgets on the screen guys so that we can perform the operation so the very first thing we will do we will make up the frame so right here inside this we will initialize a frame variable and we will use the frame widget we will place it on the root the width will be around 400 and the height will be around 300 and the relief parameter will be rich and border width will be around you will see in the it will be 5 border width and BG stands for background color guys so this can be hexadecimal also so this will be this uh, 2 4 8 AA2 so we have initialized our frame so we need to place it on the screen so this can be used by the place method so we will place it at x0 y0 so now if you see here guys uh, if I see here you can see that this is a color here of the frame here it is successfully placed on the window and uh, in this way you can do it and now we need to initialize the inner frame so this will be we will be using the label frame widget of Trukinter. we will place it inside this frame the width again will be 300 and height now will be 50 and relief parameter this time will be again be rich uh, let me this will be again be rich border width this time will be 3 and the background color will be once again be the same color that we used previously 248 AA2 and one more thing guys for this uh, some more parameters we need to write so I will do it in the next line so highlight background so basically the background color will be white and the highlight color highlight color will be again be white so this is not mandatory guys we are just styling the application so if you don't want to style it you can just leave this part highlight thickness which will be 2 and after that guys we need to place it so once again we will say inner frame dot place so whenever you want to place the widget you will use the place method inside to enter and here you need to provide the x position and y position so x is y 5 and y is also 5 so now if you see this is the inner frame which is initialized here so here you will put all your entries so after this guys we will now be expecting the user input for that we will be taking uh, entry widget we will place it inside this frame width will be around 30 and the relief parameter uh, relief will be a uh, rich once again and border width will be 3 and we will place it on the screen x around at 70 and y at 15 so if you see here this is your input field which is successfully placed here you can write something on the screen here you can see that after this guys we need to put a search button so whenever you want to search we will have this button it will be placed inside this frame and the text will be written here search and uh, relief parameter once again will be this time will be raised this will be a raised button and border width will be 2 and here we will have font will be equal to uh, Vardana 8 and this will be a bold font like this the background color guys BG so this will be the same color that we used 248AA2 and the foreground color will be FG stands for foreground color this will be white 
and uh, after this we have to have a command so basically we will be initializing whenever you click this button what will happen so we will initialize this function which is search so whenever you click this button it, this function will execute now we need to place this button so we will simply say search dot place and here we will provide x coordinate to be 270 and y coordinate to be 15 so if you uh, run this now guys uh, there will be error right search is not defined so we need to define this function at the very top so now we have defined this let me hello let me just do it so once again if I run this guys now you will now see this button here search search button so whenever you click it this will be printing hello on the screen so you can see that it is working so now guys we need to uh, write this function search function so basically uh, inside the search function we will have the username we can get the username by user.get so whichever uh, let me run this uh, whatever uh, user writes here it will be captured inside this uh, user.get so it will be placed inside username so after this we will simply place it we will make a uh, HTTPS search uh, request here www.instagram.com and we will place it dynamically here which is uh, username we will put a question mark a is equal to 1 that's it and then we will make the request here we will use the request module request.get URL and then we will convert this to JSON and we will print the data on the console so simply guys if you now run this script so if you want to type any sort of valid username which is public let me type my username coding section click on search now you will see that guys all this garbage garbage data here which is uh, json data all this information is you can see that uh, all this information is there you can see that so you just need to parse this information and display the uh, only uh, information that you want to display which is a profile picture number of post all this stuff so for this uh, what we need to do is that we need to define individual function which will be required for this the first function which will be for the profile pic we will define a new function for this we need to import the web browser module which is built in inside python and this will be there inside uh, graphql property inside user property and there is a property called as profile underscore pic underscore url and we simply need to open that inside our browser so there is an open method and we will simply pass d here that's it so basically uh, here we have defined this function here and here we will need to have a if condition so if details dot get so here we are just uh, i think Mm. this is the data here which is yeah I think this is the details yeah we need to uh, first of all declare this so the details uh, widget we need to declare so after we initialize this guys so this is the inner frame we need to do there are two inner frames out there if I run this now so this is the inner frame first inner frame you can see that this is the outer inner frame here we have placed here on the screen and this is the second one so basically if I once again copy this so there are two inner frames which completes this widget you will see this is user details so here we will be displaying all this information which will be capturing so after this guys we will uh, put this details widget so if I copy this if I now run this you can see this is the 
basically it has given this is a simple text area here you can simply write something here so we have given some styling to it the background color is white and also we have given some padding to it also margin as well so this is the complete the over in, uh, overall interface of the application and now to display this something on the screen guys we need to simply uh, copy this information this is some complicated code so I will simply write it so basically it is just parsing the information and displaying it on the screen so it is not it is just uh, uh, capturing only the information that we need we only need the username we only need the profile picture we only need the number of post uh, followers following all that you can see followers so it is there inside the JSON so we are capturing all this information following you can see so now if I run this application guys now if I type the username coding section you can take any username for example this is not you can see all this information is displayed here and the profile picture let me take another example uh, you can type uh, any let me type black caps news this is the username profile uh, sorry you can see this is the username if I copy this once again run this here paste uh, black caps news alert. click search now you can see that the information changes and now you can see total for total post is uh, five six nine seven category you can sports team following six seven six uh, this is a bio link you can see that total post you can see profile picture you can see that so in this easy way guys you can develop a profile info application of Instagram inside your Tukinter application using their API so all the source code will be there inside video description if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next live stream until then thank you very much